Yes! That feels so good. That feels so good because all these kids are little pricks and they C4 and use freaking shot charges and red guns. That just feels good to hit a quad freaking kill cam on them, Jesus. Oh my god, these kids were seriously the worst free for all players I've ever played against. So usually I don't start, you know, my videos off with a clip, but you know, I was just playing and I was like, dude, these guys are so bad. Like, I, I don't even know if I can play like right now. So I figured I would talk about, you know, some free for all players and, uh, you know, how free for all kind of is getting ruined a little bit just because everyone plays it now. Literally everybody plays free for all now. Back a year ago, dude, nobody played free for all. Everybody was, you know, playing S and D. If they were trick shotters, they were playing S and D. If they were snipers, they were playing ground war, TDM, stuff like that. Not a lot of people played free for all. Now, everybody plays free for all, including the snipers. And then, like, you know, you got good guys like Doodle. And then you got, you know, trick shotters who do it. And then it's crazy because the trick shotters think they have an excuse so they don't have to snipe to get the last. So they use overkill and run a submachine gun with, like, shot charges and C4s. Like, what? I'll admit, it's fun to go for shots and free-for-all. Do you guys, like, not enjoy going, you know, like, getting free-for-all, like, sniping, sniping clips? I mean, it's not that hard. Like, all you have to do is develop a decent shot and you can get... I mean, you could be a free-for-all sniper. It's not that hard. Like, you, you gotta know spawns, and you just gotta be able to land your shots. Like, an average day, I see just so many people that are sweating. I don't know how it's gonna be with uh, Black Ops 3 coming out. Like I said, I mean, I'm not gonna do like, oh my god, Black Ops 3, this, this, that, it, that's the new Call of Duty confirmed, and here's all the cool stuff about it. Let's look at the hints and the trailers and see what kind of guns I'm not, I'm not about that. I'll let other people do that. I think people overhype. It seems like when you overhype something when it comes out, it's just not that good. Like, for example, Get Hard the movie. Now, I'll admit, it was a pretty funny movie. It was Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. And I didn't go, and I didn't see it the first day it came out. I, I, I'll admit that. I, I seen it like a week, maybe a week and a half after it came out. And, you know, I talked to some people, you know, I don't like to have them spoil it for me, but I, you know, I'm like, yo, dude, is it funny? Like, is it worth going seeing? And like, oh my god, it's the funniest movie. I laughed the whole time. Literally, I was in tears the whole movie. Like, okay, alright, okay, that's cool. So you go into that movie and you're gonna you're thinking like this is gonna be I'm I'm not even gonna be able to function because I'm gonna be laughing so much and then you go in the you watch the movie and, and you just like kind of giggle the whole time because you're expecting it to be drop dead funny and it kind of and it kind of ruined the movie for me I went with Cole who was in yesterday's video Max who goes down to a college uh, where we where we went down and Cole's girlfriend and uh, Drew uh, he's he's been in a couple of my live stream he's Frederick Chipton he also went with us all four of us went to the movie theaters down in Evansville if you guys are from Indiana you guys probably know where Evansville is we went down in Evansville we sing it hard and it I mean like I said, overhyped. Like, when it comes down to it, like, think about the Call of Duty community. We are overhyping BO3 so much. We don't even know anything about it. All we know about it is that it's BO3. That's it. Does anyone not like surprises? Like, don't you like being surprised? Yeah, but I feel like we're already overhyping the game. Yeah, we can get excited about it. I understand people do get excited about the new game and everything, you know. We really haven't had much luck in the past couple years with games. People are just getting a wee bit excited about it. And, you know, I think, you know, overhyping something could be, it, it could ruin, it could ruin the game. Like, that's my honest opinion. And I don't want, I don't want Black Ops 3, I, won't, I want Black Ops 3 to be a game that people will actually stay on and play. Honestly, I want to know what your guys' opinion is, you know, on free-for-all players getting the last. And also, I want to know you guys, I want to know what you guys think about Black Ops 3. I, I know, like, I'm not going to be talking about This is probably the only video I'll talk about BO, BO3, legit, like, legitimately. Alright, guys, but that's the end of the video. I know I changed shirt because I just looked at, I'm editing right now, and I was like, I didn't even do an outro. But yeah, guys. Uh, let me know what your opinion is, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, like I said, let me know what your, what your thoughts that are down in the comments, if you agree with me, disagree with me, whatever, you know, um, like I said, I think it's being overhyped, and I just want a surprise, I want it, you know, I want it to be a good game, but anyways, guys, this has been your boy, BLS, and I'll talk to you guys later, peace out.